hello friends so today uh, in this uh, class we'll uh, start and finish off with the speed control methods uh, various speed control methods for various uh, motors uh, dc motors that is dc shunt motor dc series motor as well as for separately uh, excited dc motor okay so um, uh, let us uh, begin our discussion with uh, speed control methods of uh, dc shunt motor i hope you have already seen uh, my videos both the videos so in second video i have given you uh, what are the different uh, methods of uh, uh, speed control of dc shunt motor and uh, practically i have shown we have simulated also uh there are two methods one is the uh, field weakening method and uh, another method is the armature uh, voltage control method in both the methods uh, both the methods are required and uh, there is a difference between both the methods and the difference is that the um, in one method that is armature control method you can control the speed from zero to the rated speed by controlling the armature voltage and in second field weakening method as you are weakening the field that means uh, you are changing the flux or uh, you are changing the uh, shunt uh, um, means um, field winding current if you are changing that then you are increasing the speed beyond the rated value so if the rated value of that motor uh, rated speed of that motor is 1440 rpm in uh, by the method of uh, armature voltage control you can control the speed from 0 to 1440 rpm whereas by uh, field weakening method or by changing the flux uh, of the field winding or uh, field winding current you can uh, increase that speed beyond 1440 rpm but there is a limit on that particular speed you cannot increase it um, in multiples of uh, the rated value okay so there is a restriction on that because you cannot um, change the flux uh, beyond certain limit okay so let us uh, discuss uh, these methods one by one again so i'll stop my video first and then so that bandwidth requirement will be uh, reduced and uh, we'll start with uh, the dc uh, speed control of dc shunt motor uh, i've shared the ppts i hope you are uh, able to uh, see all these okay so first method is the uh, flux control method now as you know that speed is directly proportional to applied voltage divided by flux that is speed is directly proportional to the applied voltage and speed is inversely proportional to the flux now this uh, um, flux control may in flux control method as indicated by the speed equation speed is direct uh, sorry inversely proportional to phi and um, how you are calculating phi phi is depending on the uh, field uh, winding current that is ish and ish you are calculating by um, ish equal to v that is voltage applied across that uh, field winding divided by rsh and um, almost for all the practical purposes supply voltage v is maintained to a constant value rsh is a constant uh, resistance of shunt winding so the ratio of v upon rsh which is nothing but ish that ish that is shunt uh, field winding current it is also constant as both these terms are constant uh, current will be constant now this phi is directly proportional to ish and as ish is constant this phi will be constant and that's why the speed will remain constant okay so if you are changing the value of ish by introducing some series resistance in uh, this rsh then 
the value of ish will be changed and in turn flux will change and which will change the speed so this is the um, in general method uh, of uh, flux control okay now the flux is dependent on current through shunt field winding so this field flux can be controlled by adding a rheostat or a variable resistance in series with the shunt field winding as shown in this particular figure now at the beginning the rheostat r is kept at minimum as indicated in this as a start so at start this pointer will be at this position so that this r will be minimum or zero so that only rsh will be there and the rated voltage will be applied to this um, uh, field winding and as the rated voltage is applied the current through shunt field winding is also the rated value hence the speed also is the rated speed and uh, which is called the normal speed and this is uh, shown on this characteristics uh, speed versus i sh so shunt field uh, current is on x axis and um, speed is on y axis so at this rated value of shunt uh, current this is the normal or rated speed now as further you are increasing the value of r in series with rsh then the value of ish will reduce that's why it is referred as field weakening method so as you are reducing the value of ish you can observe the speed value will increase so as uh, ish is reducing its speed is increasing okay so i hope you understood this um so thus by this method the um, above the rated value of speed because as this is the rated or normal speed you are increasing the value above this rated value of speed that's why uh, by this field weakening method you are increasing the speed beyond the rated value okay then what are the advantages of this uh, flux control method that it provides relatively smooth and easy control then second advantage is speed control above the rated speed is possible in this method and as the field winding resistance is high the field current is small hence power loss that is the i square uh, i sh square into r in the external resistance is very small which makes the method more economical and efficient so this is the major advantage and as the field current is small the size of the rheostat required is very small so these are the advantages of this flux control method and uh, uh, drawbacks or disadvantages of this method are the speed control below normal rated speed is not possible as the flux can be increased only up to the rated value so this is the major drawback and the flux as the flux reduces speed increases but high speed affects the commutation making motor operation unstable right so there is a limit to the maximum speed above normal possible by this method so these are the drawbacks of the method and as the um, speed is inversely proportional to phi and you are reducing the value of phi so speed will definitely increase beyond the rated value okay i hope you understood this method then second method is the armature voltage control or rheostatic control method so this is the speed control method of dc shunt motor now in previous method flux control method 
you have increased the speed beyond the rated value whereas in armature voltage control method or rheostatic control method you will reduce the speed below the normal uh, speed or the below the rated speed okay so this is the rated speed value and this is the characteristics va versus speed speed is reducing as you are reducing the value of va and that is nothing but the voltage applied across the armature okay so the speed we know from the speed equation speed is directly proportional to the voltage applied across the armature so um as the supply voltage is normally constant the voltage across the armature can be controlled by adding a variable resistance in series with the armature this is as shown so at start this pointer will be at this position so it will be this added external resistance will be minimum or zero so the total supply voltage will be applied across this armature and if you are increasing the value of this resistance the drop across this uh, resistance will be there and which will be subtracted from this supply voltage so that the reduced amount of supply voltage will be applied across this armature and as the armature voltage applied armature voltage is reducing the speed will reduce further okay so this is the general uh, explanation so now ish ish is equal to v upon rsh so v is constant rsh is constant so here this field current is constant value so as field current is constant so ish is constant so phi is proportional to ish so as both these values are constant ish is constant and as ish is constant flux phi is constant okay so initially if uh, so for this uh, constant field current or a constant flux you are changing now the armature uh, voltage applied voltage across armature so initially the rheostat position is at its minimum and the rated voltage will be applied across the armature so the speed also will be the rated speed okay now for a given load the armature current is fixed so when an extra resistance is added in the uh, armature circuit i remains same and there is a voltage drop across the resistance added that is i a into r hence the voltage across the armature it decreases decreasing the speed below the normal value so by varying this extra resistance various speeds below the rated value can be obtained so for a constant load torque the speed is directly proportional to the voltage across the armature so these are the two major uh, methods now in this uh, armature uh, voltage control or rheostatic control method you cannot achieve the uh, speed to exactly zero value because if you are increasing this value of resistance you uh, to towards maximum you will require a very high value of resistance Um, of this um, um, armature uh, uh, resistance uh, or rheostatic uh, in rheostatic control method so um, you will require a very high value of uh, rheostat if you want to uh, achieve this zero speed so instead of that you can use another method which is a potential uh, divider method so this is the potential uh, divider control so in this instead of this uh, hanging uh, resistance that resistance will be connected exactly across this total supply so that uh, as this pointer will move up and down this resistance part so this total resistance 
it is connected across supply and this pointer this will move either up or down so that the upper half resistance or lower half resistance they will change with uh, exactly in opposite proportion if it is moved upward then the upper resistance will reduce whereas the lower resistance will increase and if this arrow is moving downward direction then the downward resistance will reduce whereas upward resistance will increase so that this is a resistance divider arrangement which will proportionally change the voltage across this so initially if this pointer is kept at this position that is at start if it is here then the supplied voltage uh, or the applied voltage to the armature it is exactly zero volt so uh, not zero uh, you can increase this voltage by uh, this method by point increasing the pointer if that pointer is exactly here it will be zero volt and you will increase this to maximum by changing this potentiometer okay so if this is at zero uh, volt then the speed will be zero then you will require certain amount of voltage to overcome the inertia and friction that is i uh, plus i r a drop so as um, this voltage if you are increasing the speed will be uh, speed will remain zero till certain value so whenever it will uh, be equal to the um, overcoming inertia and friction then the speed will start increasing and uh, from zero and if you are increasing this voltage to maximum then uh, at this particular position the rated supply voltage will be applied and the speed will also be the rated speed okay so in this method by increasing uh, by changing this potentiometer from start to maximum value the supply voltage applied across armature it will start from zero and it will increase up to maximum or the rated value so that the speed of this uh, motor can increase from zero to the rated value okay i hope uh, you have understood uh, this uh, method also which will increase the voltage uh, sorry speed from zero to the maximum value so uh, advantage of this rheostatic method is it is very easy and smooth speed control below the normal or rated value it is possible with this method okay and uh, another advantage is in potential divider arrangement rheostat can be used as a starter also okay and the drawbacks of this rheostatic control are as the entire armature current passes through the external resistance there are tremendous power losses in this method then as the armature current is more than the field current rheostat required is of large size and capacity then the speed above rated is not possible by this method and due to the large power losses this method is expensive wasteful and less efficient and the method needs expensive heat dissipation arrangements as the a uh, major chunk of this uh, is um, converted into or this power is converted or wasted into in terms of heat only okay and the uh, um, next method or uh, last method is the uh, applied voltage control method so in this applied voltage control method the shunt field of this uh, motor is permanently connected to a fixed voltage supply the shunt winding it is permanently connected to the um, fixed value of uh, voltage supply while the armature is supplied this armature winding is supplied with a various voltages by means of suitable switch gear arrangement 
so here it is shown that whenever the switches are in this position at this particular position then this is applied voltage will be 220 and 0 there are three lines one is plus 220 another is 0 and another is minus 220 so this plus 220 and 0 so 0 to 220 volt the will be the applied voltage across this armature whereas whenever the switches are in this particular position then plus 220 to minus 220 volt will be applied across this armature okay so um, um, this method means this figure shows the control of motor by two different working voltages which can be applied to it with the help of this switch gear arrangement in uh, majority of the factories various values of armature voltages and corresponding arrangements can be used to obtain the speed control then the advantages of uh, applied voltage control method are it gives wide range of speed control then the speed control in both directions can be achieved very easily because you can reverse this uh, direction of current and the speed of uh, direction of this motor will be reverse and uh, uniform acceleration can be obtained so these are the advantages and the drawbacks of or disadvantages of this applied voltage control method are the arrangement is expensive as position of various auxiliary equipment is necessary and the overall efficiency of this system is very low so these are the drawbacks of this method so we have seen uh this uh, um, all the possible methods of uh, speed control of dc shunt motor so speed control of dc shunt motor there are four methods one is flux control method second is armature voltage control or rheostatic control method third is potential divider uh, control method and fourth is the applied voltage control method so in exam if it is asked to um explain the various uh, speed control methods of dc shunt motor then you have to explain all these four methods okay then uh, we'll move to the next topic which is the speed control of dc series motor now if it is in, uh, asked in the exam that uh, um explain the various methods of speed control of dc series motor then you have to explain these methods so almost the basic principle remains same only the arrangement of this uh, uh, field winding and armature winding uh, it is in uh, series with uh, this field winding is in series with this armature winding in case of series motor and this field winding is connected across this uh, armature winding in shunt motor 